Hey guys, Jose Paul here for another one tutorial with top tutorials. On this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a fantastic neon effect in Photoshop. Pay attention because it's very easy to do and it really gives a fantastic look with your images, okay? Let's get started. We have here uh, one image. It's very good. I think it results very well. To do this kind of uh, neon effect, it's very easy to do. We can pick the pen tool, select the chip tool, not the path, okay? You're gonna make a shape, fill uh, with none, and uh, the stroke with white color, and uh, we can put something about 13 pixels, okay? And we we gonna make a really good shape on the girl, something like that, okay. And uh, after that we gonna go to the blending, blending modes. Blending modes it's very useful to do this kind of uh, work and uh, it really looks great. What we have to do is do, we have uh, an outer glow and an inner glow on the, on the shape. First of all, we can check the outer glow and we can do something like this. The outer glow it's outside the shape, okay? And we can change the color that you want, something like that. Okay, I really like that. 50%, something like that. Spread 6 and size 70, it's okay. That's it, okay. And uh, we, we have to go to inner glow and uh, we have to choose the the same color, it's very important. Some interesting color, you can change the color whenever you want, okay? The only thing that you're gonna do is, because the chip is, is white, the inner glow has to be multiplied, because if we don't put the multiply, if we have screen in uh, white, it doesn't result, okay? Only in, in multiply or darker, okay? Multiply, software, I think it's okay with zero, 35 opacity and the size 10, it's okay, and the blending mode multiply. After that, what we have to do is right click on the layer of the shape that we made and convert to smart object. And the, the shape is uh, saved in a smart object. But we can play a little bit with the, the shape and add a layer mask. Add a layer mask and erase some areas that you don't want, don't forget to, to put opacity in 100%, okay, and let's try to erase some areas we, we don't want to affect on our model, something like this, okay, let's erase, I'm changing the color to white and it appears the image, and change the, the color to black, deletes what you want, what I want, okay, something like that. Changing very fast the color to black and white, you're gonna hit the X key and change very fast the, the foreground to background color. I'm gonna erase this part of the model. Yeah, I think it's, it's awesome. It's very easy to do that. And after that you can play around with this text tool if you want to, to mix text tool with shapes, it's very interesting. I'm gonna to text tool and right now white color, it's very important to do that, okay, something like that. And after that we can put something where we want. I'm gonna change the direction, I'm gonna... something like this. If we want to, to have the, the, the text editable, we duplicate the text uh, layer with Command J. We're gonna rasterize type uh, and we have a shape of the, the, the text. If we click two times on the layer, it comes the layer style box and we have to do the same thing that we did to the, the shape that we are working. can change the color and the inner glow, I'm changing the color to the same color, same thing. If you, you see that the layer styles uh, appears with the, the last uh, modifications that, that we did in these properties, which is awesome. We can do the same thing, we can convert to smart object our layer and add a layer mask. I'm trying to erase 
this letter. I'm painting with black and white on the layer mask, okay? Something like that, okay? We can do a lot of things on this image. And I'm gonna make a shape on the glass. I think the glass is a really good shape to work. Make a, a new shape on the on the glass, okay? Something like this. You, you're gonna pick, pick up the, the pen tool and we're gonna shape the glass. Okay. Something like this. We can change a little bit the the, the size of the diameter. 10 pixels, it's, it really looks great. We will do the same that we did on the shape, the initial shape and then the, the text shape, okay? We're gonna uh, click two times on the layer, we're gonna add out another glow, I think it really looks very good on this image. Yeah, fantastic. After that, you can do what you want, what you want to your images. The neon effect, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome to, to give some, some lightning to your images. But please subscribe my, my YouTube channel. Don't forget to ring the bell. Thank you so much for watching my videos. And hope we can do a lot of things that uh, can help you to do your works in the future, okay? Bye-bye. We see you on the next tutorial. Thank you.